everybody doing? <sighs> All right, I am Christina. I'm teaching pod fit today. I'm an instructor like at Yoga Pod in Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes for people to get on. Um, let me know if you can hear me, Kayla, from the other from from the other room. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll just give you guys a few moments. Today for class, um, I have two sets of weights, a heavier set and a lighter set, fives and eights. Um, and then I also have two blocks. Again, the blocks are just meant for if you need to bring the earth closer to you. Um, I think we'll be using the blocks to get a little bit in core, so if you don't have a block, you can always get like a book or you can even use um, your water bottle, just something to just bring around you. Uh, hey. All right, I'll give you guys a couple more seconds. So check out this pretty fireplace that my sister, this is my sister's fireplace and there's just like a, a deer head in it. Um, <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, all right, I don't know. If I'm being honest, today's like kind of a weird day for me. My well, first of all, my nephew's here watching. You want Jax? Jax, say hi to everybody! Yay! He's just just chilling on the couch watching me uh, teach. Maybe someday I'll convince him to do it with me, huh? Yes? No? <laughs> no? He says no. Um, all right. So I'm just gonna get started again. My name is Christina. Uh, to start with class, let's just get into a child pose. Bring the knees wide, toes to touch, arms come out, and then resting your forehead on the mat. And let your entire body sink down, letting it hang heavy. And take a moment to come to your breath. Set your intentions for the day. Ask the question, why did you show up to your space? Why did you show up to your mat? Deep inhales, filling the lungs with oxygen. And on the exhale, releasing. Try to shallow your breath as much as possible here, evening out your breaths ranging anywhere from a four to six count inhale and a four to six count exhale. Take two more deep breaths in and out. One more breath in and out. On your next inhale, stack palms on top of one another and stretch to the right. Trying to keep those glutes glued to your heels. Press the left glute into the left heel. Reach forward. Embracing that side body stretch. Lengthening the left side oblique. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. And then return to center. Breath in, stack the palms again, you release them. And side body stretch to the left. Making sure that you're leaving the forehead on the mat. Letting your body hang heavy and sink into this posture. Now on this side, your left oblique is compressed and the right is lengthening. One more deep breath in and out. And then return to center. <clears throat> On your next inhale, come into your tabletop and then 
at your own pace, at your own breath, go into a couple cat and cow variations and see if you can get creative with it today. Just rolling out the spine, gazing forward, dropping the belly, and then curling the spine, or and then gazing at the belly button, chin tucked in. Do a couple more. Sometimes I like to even hold cat and cow for a few breaths. Deep breath in and out, and then find stillness. From here, come into a plank pose. High plank. Shoulders stacked over wrists. Press your back heels in, or press your heels to the back room. And then try, and then we're just gonna hinge forward and we're gonna do open mouth exhales up top. Shh, shh, coming up on the toes. Shh, shh, keep it moving. Shh, shh. facing dog. Keep it moving. Couple more breaths. You've got this. Couple more breaths. You've got this. And then when you're ready, find that high plank. Come into your tabletop. Bring those knees up. Back into the rest your glutes on the mat. If you have a block, grab a block here. And then we're going to lower down to the mat, bringing the block in between your ankles and press that block in. From here, we're going to lift the shoulder blades and then we're going to bring right fingertips to left toes and then left fingertips to right. Using those open mouth exhales, Using, again, open mouth exhales and reaching, hugging in that block. You can have bent knees here if you'd like, but try to elongate them as much as possible using your breath, reaching forward. See if you can touch. See if you can reach a little higher. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. One, keep those legs up and then cover them down 45 degrees. Try to press your entire spine into the mat. You've got this. One more deep breath in and out and then lower down just a little bit more so those heels are hovering off the mat. Again, trying to press the entire spine flat on the mat. One more deep breath in. And out, release. Uh, your core should be feeling a little warmed up by now. Keep those blocks. Come up. So we're going to come into some Russian twists with the block. You're going to press your palms as hard as you can. Think chaturanga arms, 90 degree angle here. And then we're just going to twist to the right and left. You can keep those heels on the mat or an extra challenge, lift them. Shh, shh, shh. Don't forget about that block. Really press your palms into the block as hard as you can. Keep it going. Five, shh, four, shh, three, shh, two, shh, one. Bring those arms up, come into a high boat with the block. Woo, your core should be fired up. Again, bent knees if you'd like. Deep inhale, and then exhale lower to low boat and pulse. Shh, shh. Pulse those feet, toes up. Shh, shh. 
Keep those shoulder blades off the mat. Shh. Chin away from chest. Shh. Shh. Five. Shh. Four. Shh. Three. Shh. Two. Shh. One. Pike up to a high boat again. Holy moly. Woo. And then lower down. And then find those Russian twists from the right and left. Shh. Shh. We're really firing up that core today. If you'd like, 
So we're going to come into the other side, left foot forward, right leg back, and then we're just going to lower and lift, lower, lift. Keep it moving. Always come back to that alignment. Is that front knee stacked over that front ankle? Are you dropping that back leg or back knee? Shh. Shh. Use your breath. Shh. Shh. If you'd like here, we can come into some hammer curls. Shh. 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 See if you could sink a little lower into that lunge. You've got it. Shh. Five. Shh. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower down here. Pulse. Shh. Challenge yourself here. You've got this. Five, shh, four, shh, three, shh, two, shh, one. Bring those palms down. Pike into that standing L. Right leg high. Left foot is pressing into the earth. Suck belly button in the spine. Engage that core. Deep inhale and exhale. Whew. So we're going to do right knee to right triceps, bring it in, see if you can make connection, and then bring it out. In, and go. Woo. Open up, exhales up top, or when you're reaching that leg back. Keep that spine long, gaze slightly in front of you, or down. Flex the toes towards your face. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back into that lunge. Woo! And then we're just going to lower and lift. If you want to bring upper body in, Let's bring those elbows in, 90 degree angle, and then fly out. Shh. 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 Squeezing those shoulder blades, those scapulas, into one another on the way back. Shh. Shh. Opening up the chest. Shh. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands, weights, or heart center and step to the top of your mat. Wiggle it out. Shake, shake, shake. Whew. All right. It's cardio time. All right, let's see. How are you guys doing? Oh, all these people. Yay. Oh, my dad's on here. Hi, daddy. Cool. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna come into some high knees. Give you a second. Five, four, three, two, one. High knees, bring them up. Again, this is a cardio burst. We want that heart rate up. Drive those knees up. You can keep your arms at your midline, or you can bring them up and out, reaching the fingertips. Keep it going. See if you can go a little faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Find high plank. From here, we're gonna come into plank jacks. Full variation is bringing both feet out and in. Modification is walking it out to the right and left. You've got this. Whatever you do, I just encourage you to keep Moving, if you need, you can even also come to your knees. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Jump to the top of your mat, coming into skaters, jumping from the top of the mat to the back. Try to cover as much mat space as possible here. You can keep that back leg or that back foot hovered, or you can tap it out, reaching down if you'd like as well. You can do it. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Find that high plank again one more time and come into your mountain climb. 
just need to note as fast as you can. You've got this. You are almost there. Woo! Press those palms into the earth. You've got it. See if you can go a little faster here for five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Or you can come up to the top of your mat. Ah. Holy crap. You should be winded right now. I am so winded. All right. Yay. Let's see what we got next. Do you have a set of weights? Grab your weights. Find a tabletop. Shoulders stacked over wrists. Hips stacked over the knees. And just take a moment here to come to your breath. If you'd like, you can even come into a couple cat cows. Whew. Deep inhales and exhales. One more time. Deep inhale and exhale. Whew. If you have a weight, you can bring that right weight to behind your right knee. Plant those palms. Inhale, right leg high, and pulse. Woo! Flex the toes. Press your the sole of your foot into the top of the, the top of the ceiling. Lift that knee up. Drive it up. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, drop to your forearms. Keep that right knee high. We're gonna come into right knee to right tricep. Two counts, in, in, out, out. Exhaling on the way back. You've got it. Five, four, three, two, woo. one, last one, finish it out, pike up to your tabletop, one last time and pulse here, you got it, keep it moving, five, Last one. 
up into that tabletop, keep that leg hovered, and pulse. Shh, shh, shh. That right glute should be talking to you. Embrace it for five, four, shh, three, shh, two, shh, one, lower down. Shake it out. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Something's happening. Hold on one second, humans. Those are always fun to have. All right, I hope you're in your downward facing dog still. From here, we are going to lower, bringing those elbows wide, and then rising up. 
Again, we're, tr we're still trying to keep those ears by the biceps on the way up. Shh. Woo. You can go here at your own pace, moving as fast or as slow shh, if, as you like. Shh. Open mouth, exhales up top. Shh. Modification, you can even come to your knees here. Shh. Shh. You got it. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Pike into that downward facing dog. You got this. So and we're going to do three-legged dogs into a push-up, keeping that right leg hovered. So inhale, right leg high, and then exhale, hinge forward, shoulders stacked over right, or shoulders come over those wrists, and then chaturanga push-up, keeping that right leg covered. Hinging forward, lowering down, chaturanga, elbows stay close to the ribs. You got it. Shh. Keep it moving. Reach those toes back on that three-legged dog on the way back. Shh. Let's do five more. Shh. Four. Shh. Three. Shh. Two. Woo. Shh. Last one. Shh. And then find downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog here for a second. Evening, even visiting child's pose. Feels lovely. Woo! Take one more breath. If you're not in your downward facing dog, come back into it. Inhale, left leg high. Same concept on the left side. Engage your core, so belly button in the spine. Inhale, hinge forward. Start those chaturanga push-ups. Shh, bringing that, keeping that left leg high. Shh, reaching those toes back. Shh, pressing palms into the earth. Shh, you've got this. Five. Shh, four. Shh, three. Woo. Shh, two. Shh, one. Downward facing dog. Or child pose. Oh. I've been doing all these push-ups lately. And some days I feel super strong. And in other days, I really don't feel strong. But that's okay. All right. Find a hero's pose here. Resting the glutes on the heels. Grabbing a weight, or if you have a block, a block will work too. So we're going to bring the arms out, and then we're just going to twist. Shh. Shh. Right and left. Shh. Shh. So again, with the block, it looks like this still. Shh. Shh. You've got it. Shh. Keep it moving, Shh, twisting side to side. Shh. Five, four, three, two. One. You guys still see me? Okay, sorry about that. Not really sure what's happening today, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bring the weight up and then lower it down. Slow and with intention, rising that weight up and then lowering it down. Shh. Really focus on that breath here. Deep inhales, up and reach, and then exhale, lowering it down. Shh. Engage that core. Woo! Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish it out. Shoulders are on fire. Yay. Don't you love it? All right. So if you have blocks here, I know we're doing a lot of push-ups, but I just love them. Bring blocks or books with, uh, right off the mat. Actually, let's just start with one side. So they're elevated push-ups. 
So I have mine out to the right to start out, just right off my mat. You, you can always come from the knees or the toes, and then we're just going to lower and lift. Shh. Shh. Really suck that belly button in the spine. Shh. Engage Shh. that core. Shh. Push up Shh. for five, Shh. four, Shh. three, Shh. two, Shh. one. Rise up and switch it out. I know you probably are, guys are like, oh my gosh, so many push ups. But the thing is, with push ups, it's a full body stretch, and I don't think you re people realize how engaged your core is during the push up. So really focus on that engagement here. Again, if you don't have the block to the left, right off the mat here, from the knees or toes, deep inhale and exhale, and then lower, rise up. Elevated push up shh, on the left. Shh, you got it shh, for five, shh, four, shh, three, shh, two, shh, plus one. Woo! Ah, shake it out. Can even come into a child's pose if you'd like. Actually, let's come into a child's pose. That sounds awesome. Interlacing the fingertips behind you. And maybe even then stretching them up a little bit. Resting the forehead on the mat. Deep inhale. And exhale, release. Oh, how are you guys feeling? Woo! So from here, we're going to rise up to the top of our mat. Grabbing a set of weights. Heels in. Toes out. And then find your horse stance. Sink down. Again, always thinking about that tailbone, that coccyx, pulling it down towards your mat. Elongate the spine. I envision that rubber band and it's getting pulled down and up, lengthening as much as possible. Sink in and pulse. You're pressing both feet evenly into the mat. Shh. Core is engaged. Shh. Five. Shh. Four. Shh. Three. Shh. Two. Shh. One. Bring those weights down. We are going to lower and then lift up. Elbows and shoulders come parallel to each other and then lower down. Open mouth, exhales up top. Shh. Squeeze glutes up top. Shh. Shh. You've got it. Shh. Keep it moving. Shh. Shh. Gaze forward. Shh. Core is engaged here. Shh. Shh. Five, four, three, two, one. Goal post those arms. Sink into that horse stance. Shoulder press. Rising up and bringing those shoulders and elbows parallel to one another. Exhale up top, shh, and lower. Shh. Shh. You can hold horse stance if you'd like right here, or you can incorporate that squat. Shh. 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 Sink into that horse stance. Shh. Press those weights up. Shh. Shh. You got it. Shh. Five, shh, four, shh, whew, three, shh, you got it, two, shh, one, shh, bring weights to heart center, sink into that horse, if you have weights, bring them behind you, I'm going to come into some oblique dips, holding that horse stance, dipping to the right and left. Sink as low as you can here. Shh. Challenge yourself. Ask yourself that question. Why did you show up to your space today? Shh. Core is engaged here. Shh. 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 Five more on each side, or five more, even it out. Shh. 
four, three, two, one. Finish it out on both sides. And then bring those weights to heart center. Woo, shake it out. All right, drop those weights. All right, we're gonna come into just a mini cardio burst, but we're gonna jump up. This is a very small jump. Coming up on, on the toes. You can bring weights or palms to heart center, or if you have a weight, woo, keep it going. You've got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Parallel the feet. So hold that horse stance, that, that depth in your knees. If you have a weight, you can bring a weight or release it. And we're just gonna come into football runners. You can also bring those knees in or bring the legs in a little bit, but I really want you to focus on that depth that you held into that horse stance and stay low in those football runners. You got it, sink low. Challenge yourself here, keep it going. Press those glutes back, up on the toes. Let it wiggle. Five, four, three, two, one. Find your horse stance, heels in, toes out. Grab that weight if you'd like. And then we're just gonna jump up. You've got it. Woo. Again, this is a very small movement here. You can do it. Sink a little lower. Five, four, three, two, one. You know what's next. We're doing those football runners again. Again, keeping that depth in that horse or like you did in that horse. Up on the toes. Let it all shake. Woo. Keep that spine long. Keep that core engaged. For five, four, three, two, one. Find horse again. You've got it. Just hold horse here for just a second. Coming back to your breath. Deep inhale and exhale. How you guys doing? Woo. All right, from here we're gonna parallel the toes. And then, if you have weights, grab a set of weights, bend those knees just a little bit. Coming into that chest fly. You got it. Sink those glutes low. Squeeze the shoulder blades, the scapulas into one another. Envision that grate that you have in between them. Squeezing it. You got it. Five, controlling the weights down. Four, three, two, one. Drop those weight, or drop one weight if you like, or both, or even switching out. I'm gonna switch mine out. Woo. So we're gonna plant the left palm. If you have a weight, we're gonna skandasana, bending the left knee as well. It's kind of a lateral lunge, and then we're gonna lift the right arm up, and then lower it down with control. Rising up. And lowering. Woo! You've got it. Keep it moving. Controlling the movement. Gaze to the fingertips on the way up. Again, that left knee is bent. Pressing those glutes back. Five. Switch it out, skandasana to the other side. Plant that right palm. If you have a light weight, again, or not, if you, if you don't have one, it's cool. Shh. This is still an amazing full body workout. Inhale, lift up and lower. Whew. I mean, exhale, sorry. Exhale, lift up and lower. Shh. Keep going. Shh. Gazing at those fingertips up top. Controlling the weight down. So you're powering the weight up. 
controlling it down, using that breath, pressing those glutes back, shh. right knee bent, shh. you got it, left leg, shh. you're pressing into the ninth edge of your foot, keep it moving for five, shh. four, shh. three, shh. two, shh. one, find a forward fold, from here you can even find your big toes, elongating the spine, gazing, trying to bring the forehead to the mat rather than the top of your head. If you find yourself on your heels, just shift slightly forward, bring the elbows out, deep inhale, and exhale, bring the fingertips to the hips, and rise up. Woo! All right. What do we have now? Grab a sip of water if you'd like. So next up, we are going to come in to some some work with uh, crow pose. So if you if you're familiar with crow pose, you can definitely um, kind of step it up a little bit. But today I'm going to use uh, some blocks. So I'm going to start bringing the block at the top. So you're going to plant the palms, and rather than your knees coming right on top of the triceps, hug the knees around your arms, like right at your, your shoulders almost, the tops of your triceps. So notice how when you do that, squeezing those triceps, those knees in towards the triceps, how engaged your core is. Ooh, see, been doing a lot of core. So planting those palms. So come up on the toes. And the reason I have the block there is because we're gonna come into, we're gonna work into, uh, Crow push-ups, I know. So this is super advanced. So again, wherever you're at in your practice, stop there. For some people, maybe just coming up on the toes and then just flirting with the concept of bringing one toe up then the other. And if you're gonna do that, you can even bring that block up or underneath the toes and then gazing forward. So you can do that. Or if you're familiar with crow, you can come into your crow, heels towards the glutes. And the reason, again, I have that block is because I want to lower with control and then rising up. Shh. Oh, I know. That's hard. I'm going to let you play around with it for a little bit. Control the movement. So we're pressing from crow and then kind of rising up to crane pose, lengthening those elbows. This is kind of something I've been working on in my personal practice. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys what was up. But again, if we're just working on the concept of crow pose, bring the block underneath the toes. Again, rest bringing those knees around the triceps rather than on top. Engage core, shift forward, and maybe just lift one heel than the other. Woo! Keep it going. Play around with it just for a little bit longer. I'm gonna actually gonna try to do one with control. If you notice, I'm moving very slowly because I'm, this is something that I'm currently working on. So take your time with it. Woo, and then rising up. Ah, awesome. All right, when you're ready, find a rag doll for just a second. Getting ready for the cardio burst. Yes, yes, the cardio burst. Find your jump rope here. Bring those arms up. So you can bring the toes together if you'd like, or you can alternate. If you'd like, you can really find some air. See how many times 
you can swing that imaginary rope underneath you. You got it. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Find a lunge. Bring your left leg forward, right leg back. We're going to lower down and empower that right knee up. Bringing the right fingertips down. If you'd like to level up, jump up on the left toes on the way up. Keep it moving. Five. Four. Woo. Three. You can do it. Two. Last one. Shake it out. Switch it out. Bringing that right leg forward, left leg back, lowering down, powering up. Again, you can always just step it out here if you'd like. Whatever, wherever you're at in your practice, I just encourage you to keep moving. Keep it moving. If you'd like, find that air. Woo! Five. fingertips into your hip crease and then slide them down to your knees. So we're going to twist to the left, dipping the right shoulder, gazing to the ceiling and then rising up. And then inhale, dip the left shoulder blade, gaze forward and then come back to center. Let's go into that one more time. Dip the right shoulder, gaze up, back to center. Inhale, and dip the left shoulder, and then come back to center. You can bring hands to heart center if you'd like, and then we're just gonna lift the right heel lower, Left heel, lower. Shh. Shh. And again, this is a constructive rest. We're bringing down that heart rate, but we're still moving. We're still using the body. Shh. Shh. You've got it. Keep it moving. Focus on that breath. For five, four, three, two, one, sink it low. Let's parallel the feet here. And then find a forward fold. So wherever you're at in your forward fold, maybe you're just bringing the palms down, stacking them, stacking your shoulders on your wrists. Maybe this is your forward fold. Or maybe you wanna bring the, the fingertips to the knife edge of your foot or big thumb. Find depth in that forward fold, lengthen the legs, press the feet into the earth, lengthen that spine, 
Find one more deep breath in and out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge forward, come to a high plank. All right. So you can hold high plank here, or you can drop to your forearms. We're gonna hold high plank here for 60 seconds. Time has started. I love me a good plank. I don't know what it is about planks, but like, I mean, I know what it is. I love that it's full body engagement, core is engaged. I'm pressing my forearms into the mat. I'm gazing forward. Heels come to the back. So I love the physical aspect of this. But more than anything, I love the mental aspect of a plank. Your body's shaking and you want to stop. You want to drop to those knees. Your mind is telling you, I can't do it, but your body is so much stronger than you think. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, lower down. So my stopwatch paused, full disclosure. I'm just having all kinds of issues here today. So that might have been a little over a minute. Find Sphinx pose. Or you can stack palms onto one another. Resting the forehead on the mat. From here, we're gonna come into some rolling cobras. So bring those fingertips Bring those fingertips wide off the mat. We're going to inhale, rise up to Cobra. And then the exhale, we're going to shimmy our way down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, Cobra's rise. And exhale, shimmy. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pike up into a tabletop. Shoulders stacking over those wrists. Maybe you even want to come into a couple of cat and cows here. Gazing one ankle in the other. Whew. And then piking into a downward facing dog. Walk up that dog, pedal it out. Inhale, bring that right leg high. And then open up that hip. Open up that right hip here, that ball and socket joint. Even finding some rotations clockwise and counterclockwise in that joint. Keep it moving. Take one more deep breath in. And out, and then right leg comes down into that downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Open up that left hip joint, rotating that ball and socket joint clockwise and counterclockwise. Finding some mobility, some movement in that joint. One more deep breath in and out. Find downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward. Find tabletop. Interlace or stack ankles on top of one another. Bring, drive the knees up. Glutes by the mat. Inhale, find your high boat pose. Knees, legs can be long or you can have a slight bend in the knees. Chest is forward. Chin is away from chest. Deep inhale. And then exhale, lower down. As slow as you can, really challenge yourself here. Keep that chin away from the chest. Until your body melts into the mat. Deep inhale. Full body stretch. Stretching fingertips 
and toes away from one another. And then exhale, curl into a little ball, knee to nose. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, full body stretch. And then exhale, knee to nose. One last time, inhale, reach. And then exhale, curl. And inhale, and then lower down to the mat. So from here, bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide. If you have blocks, you can bring those blocks underneath for kind of a construction, uh, constructive, more uh, supported rest here. Inhale, bring those arms high. And then exhale, bring them to her center. Inhale, arms high. And then exhale, bring them to a T. Inhale, we're gonna bring that right arm over the body, coming into a stretch, a tricep stretch, an arm stretch here on the right side. One more deep breath in and out. Switch it out. Left arm comes over the body, bringing the right palm and down, pressing into your elbow. Tricep stretch on the left side. One more deep breath in and out. And then bring arms beside you. Find your final Shavasana. Maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to bring the legs out. Letting all of the energy that you just put into your practice today absorbing to your body. It's taking in all the benefit, all of the benefits, all of the energy. Again, my name is Christina. Thank you so much for tuning in today and going with the weird challenges of life. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your Thursday afternoon. If you're here in Colorado, it's sunny. So enjoy, enjoy that sunshine a little bit. Get some vitamin D in. Again, I'm an instructor at Yoga Pod. We offer four free online live classes a day. So check out their Facebook page, Yoga Pod Fort Collins. All of them are amazing. So, again, thank you so much. Namaste.